Option E paper from November 2011. Distinguish between innate and learned behaviour for one mark. This is a de question that you should definitely know. It's basically down to definitions. And you need to know that innate behaviour is behaviour which develops independent of the experience, whereas learned behaviour is, is the opposite. It depends on the environmental context, or other times people can say it develops and it is dependent on experiences that, they, that the individual experiences. Now the second question outlined the role of inheritance and learning in the development of birds and young birds. As we wait for myself to catch up, I've already done this question before, and you need to talk about how there are two aspects of birdsong, the inheritance and the learning. That's the easy bit. So the first point I'm going to talk about is inheritance. The, the young birds, they inherit a basic form of birdsong, which is innate. It develops independent of experience. The birds are born with that birdsong. The next point, though, is that is integrating the learning side of things with the bird song, with the innate side of the basic bird song. So young birds can learn an advanced bird song. They can learn this from other adult birds. So you're combining the learning and the inheritance now. But what's the benefit of this learned bird song? If you have um, an innate bird song, why not just keep with that? The reason why is that the learned bird song tends to be richer and is more complex compared to innate bird song, and this can. Be be, uh, this can help the birds when attracting a mate or uh, staking out territory, etc. The last question I really like, explain the effects of cocaine on mood and behaviour. And the reason why I like it is because it's got a lot of neurophysiology in there. The reason why cocaine exerts its you know, mind-altering effects is due to build-up of dopamine um, at the synapse, at the synaptic uh, gap. Um, and as a result of that, they have changes in mood and behavior. Remember to uh, concentrate the majority of your talk about mood and behavior as it explains in the question. And I'm going to talk about one good effect on mood, one bad effect on mood, and one effect on behavior as a result of addiction. So a good effect on mood. Users may feel euphoric or extremely happy, very pleasurable, etc. One bad side effect is that users may feel isolated from their family or friends or feel alienated. Um, and one change in behaviour is that they may engage in robbery and other risky behaviour due to addiction so that they can uh, maintain their cocaine addiction. It's an expensive drug, that is. So relatively easy question, all those three parts should give you five marks altogether.